<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here. We are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. Yes, we are. And Hella Excited. So this is Within <laughs> Temptation's newest song. It literally just oh, came out the purge seven too. hours ago. Um, I'm excited to see where this is going to go personally. The Purge is actually... I don't I don't know if it's going to be referencing the movies at right. all or if it's going to have like a similar theme. Possibly. I do enjoy the Purge movies. I have not seen the TV show. Right. I haven't seen any of them, but I do know the premise of the movies. But I'm just... I'm so excited. I, I love Within Temptation. So... Yes. Um, and what? At the beginning of October, I think, is when we started... Introducing you, mm -hmm. so um, I think that, a little bit before October. Okay, I because I I know that the first one was requested in a live, and it had been uh, they were a band that I was planning to get to with you, right? And that kind of progressed into I think we have one or two <clears throat> on our channel. I know the one with uh, Tarja got um, the sound did not record for the the music video which was tragic because that was fantastic epic um anyway so here we are and there's a brand new one and i am super excited yes let's Me too. get it so with that being said ladies and gentlemen we are going to react to this is if you have already seen it if you have not seen it please click the link in the description below hop on over leave a like leave a sub leave a comment let them know we sent you then come on back Mm -hmm. And we say that because she's got the lyrics pulled up over here. I do. We are going to pause to talk about the lyrics, to break down the lyrics, to talk about the visualizer. It to, looks like just a visualizer right now. To talk about what we might eat for dinner. I don't know. We, we're going to talk. That's what we do. Normally about the lyrics. Yes. <clears throat> Usually. Not always. Well, sometimes that leads to a tangential thread. But yes. Like this has. Correct. Like that. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to slash it up and break it down. This is Within Temptation with The Purge. That's an awesome mask. It is. I want like, one. Like, I can't... I want it. You can't have it. I want it. Fine. You have others. I do not. And it's got eyelashes. It's obviously... The masks we wear. Correct. Let's get it. You gonna get the lyrics, or are you just gonna keep it over there? Oh, I'm just gonna put them up on the box. It's bleeding! catch some of it so got no scars cut on my skin uh only my truth is wearing thin and it hollows me it hollows me i caught that i hate the darkness of my past the cold rebelling it drives me mad and it follows me it's carving the heart out of me i've got to bleed it out so everything like like her past is well lyrically yeah. How true it is to her. Um, but lyrically, it's basically just saying, like, the stuff that she's had to deal with in the past is making her cold. It's making her 
pretty much like heartless. Like right, it's carved the heart out of her. Um, but it doesn't show physically because she's got no scars carved on her skin. Very apathetic. Yeah, only the truth is thin, and you know that's almost a double because of thin skin. But it's it's wearing her out. It's hollowing her, um, and she hates it. Like she hates the darkness of her past. It's, you know, it's the skeletons in your closet or buried or however you use the metaphor. But <clears throat> I can understand that. And the fact that it drives her mad means, you know, to me at least, the relevance to me is that overthinking that happens when you're going to sleep or the anxiety that still plagues you or the depression or... And some people just don't like to feel like that either. It's... The numbness or the cold. Yeah, I mean, that part could be driving her mad. But I also think the fact that it's following her, the darkness of her past, like it's still haunting her. It's, you know, even if you have already turned yourself cold or numb or whatever, when you're alone by yourself going to sleep or whatnot, seems like that replay, right. you know? it out all my thought intoxicated because the weight on me it buries me alive it pulls me down right into the darkness it pulls me down and I can't resist let me feel it because I don't know I can't see all I feel is I'm breaking up oh can't you see it's taking over over me can't you see yeah you want me to fight it and you want me to let go yeah you tell me to fight it and you damn me if I don't so let me bleed it out and purge me. I can't see. No, I can't see. No, I can't see. Um. I. I, I almost want to interpret it or think it. The interpretation for it is more like. For her, she's got to let this out. She yeah. has to have an outlet to just snap. Whether it's musically. Possibly, yeah. Um, She's one of those that it builds up and she actually has to have something that instigates her ability to purge it. Right. And people, you know, and this is the thing, even if she were just talking in terms of like it's depression and so on, and I know that I need to purge it. Um, somebody coming by and saying, fight the depression and just let go and then damning the person if they... they can't do it or won't do it like that's not very helpful guys no. like you you a lot of stuff like that like the darkness of her past I mean she's talking about real stuff that she needs to deal with or, or she needs to let out and just saying oh get over it you know right. and why aren't you over it which is the damning part and you know, you, you should have forgotten this by now. Yeah, that's not the way it works. Hmm. And if you haven't been through darkness and you're one of those people that has always been in the light and doing great, good on you. But that's not the way it works. No. Um, so, but yeah, I, I, I really, really like this. Like, she's gotten to the point that she's breaking. Right. Yeah.
So my defiance may be strong, but now I'm doubting what I have done, and it's killing me, it's killing me. I hate to see what I've become. I find no peace, no justice done. This gravity, it's carving the heart out of me. I've got to bleed it out, all my thoughts intoxicated, because the weight on me, it buries me alive. It pulls me down right into the darkness. It pulls me down, and I can't resist. And then we go into the refrain. I feel like whatever happened in the past, she made some pretty harsh joy, uh, choices in maybe a quest for vengeance. Because she's saying that at this point, like, I don't know if what I did was correct, but, like, there's no justice here. I didn't find peace. Right. Um... <clears throat> Um, and I, I honestly, I think my favorite line of this whole song is this gravity is carving the heart out of me. Um, I, I mean, she goes on to kind of explain it, but I, right. I, I kind of wish she wouldn't have. Right. Although I think the, I've got to bleed it out is actually part of the refrain. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. No, the gravity is carving the heart out of me, but then she goes on to say, cause the weight on me, it buries me alive. Got it. Which, the gravity is about the weight. It's weighing down on her. Right. And it's, it's, yeah, it's, she's not coping well. No, she's not. <laughs> but again, you know, the let me feel is kind of going along with what we originally stated, that she's gone numb and cold. And so, at this point, she realizes that she's breaking and the only way that she's going to be able to purge it is to go back and actually feel all the stuff that she has blocked. Shut, blocked out and shut And down. honestly, I get it. Like, this starting with my defiance made me strong, this second verse. Because in order to do what you have to do, whether it's ending a relationship or getting out of dodge when things start going sideways or... What not? Like, a lot of times you do have to shut down your emotions to a degree. Right. So that you can cope and do what needs to be done. You know, I, you, you can't be a complete wreck and deal with life, unfortunately. Right. So, but if you don't then process those emotions once you're in a safe place... Eventually, they're going to come back to bite you. Right. So, I mean, I I love this. This is... <clears throat> I do like... Um, they're using a lot more synth than normal. And I'm, I'm still quite enjoying the music. Right. Karen has such a beautiful voice. And it's so clear and so strong. Right. I mean, the, the whole, <clears throat> I can't see things, do you think that's because she's so immersed in the darkness? Possibly. Or, or like, she can't see a way that she's going to cope um, with this? Or Honestly, maybe just being blinded by the pain. Or maybe and all anger, of the above. misery, right? And because uh, emotions can be blinding. Oh yeah, um, completely. I, prime example: when I was a kid, it's one of the reasons I don't get into fighting now. I black out when I fight. Right. Um, physically fight, not argue. I can argue all day, if necessary. If He's I, not an argumentative guy, but yeah. I can if I want to be. <laughs> well, I don't yeah, want to be. I'm though. just saying that, like. Naturally, right. right at the, like in this part of your life, right. um, yeah, yeah, it's one of the reasons I don't get into because again, like you said, when I was, well, 
up until 18. If I got raging mad, I blacked out. I mean, I have done it once or twice in my adult life, and I try not to let myself get to that point. I haven't at all in my adult life. Uh, the last time was when I was a teenager, and I got into the fight, blacked out, and came out of it choking the kid on the bus and beating his head against the side of the bus. Uh-huh. Now, see, mine have nev- <laughs> never been... Well, I guess... I'm pretty I've never sure I'd have killed him if, I, if they fight. left me alone. I've never been in a physical fight. Yeah. Um, so mine were just like, somebody pushed me to that point. And yes, each time it was someone pushing me. Yes, each time I had tried to be adult and walk away or whatever to handle it. Uh, but yeah, when I get to that point, I scare myself. I, I think this can also be interpreted as when she says, I can't see. It may be her talking to whoever she's talked to, like, I can't see from your point of view. Like, you're not going through this. Right. Like, yeah. I need to process this the way I can. Right. And you sitting here telling me what you think I should do or how I should do it is not helping. Right. Which is, you know, again, goes into the let me feel this. Like... Right. You telling me, oh, you should be over this now, or whatever they're saying along those lines, is not letting me feel this because I closed it off for so long that I went cold and numb, and now you need to let me feel this. And I mean, it could be interpreted many ways, which is kind of nice because it makes it relatable to more people. But I think it's another reason as well that, like, <clears throat> I never looked into getting like meds for depression right because like i would rather feel the pain than feel nothing at all because at least the pain reminds me i'm alive right well and it also lets you process it right it it makes you confront the fact that there's something that you need to to deal with to cope with um yeah I did do meds for a while, not necessarily for depression, but several of them coincide with treatment for fibro. And they did not work on the fibro. And they did, to a degree, numb me. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. Right. So I'm already enough of a closed book normally that just did not work well. Right. But yeah, it was a fantastic song. I really enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing what uh, any more new stuff that they, they put out. Um, like I said, I'm not... I would need to go back over their, their last album because I don't remember this much synth being used before. In the description, it actually says something along the lines of... Uh, I'll, I'll let you read it. Yeah. Later. So I, I liked it, but it is definitely something new, and I wonder if it's something that they're going to continue, which, again... I think this I, next album is... I wouldn't mind. Judging by the I think description. it sounds fantastic. Um, and again, her voice is, is lovely no matter what. So right. um, we hope you guys enjoyed. We yes. definitely did. <laughs> so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below what did you think of Within Temptation with The Purge. Also comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter if you want a quick response. That's also a great place to leave requests. It is. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we love you guys. Thank you all for watching. We cannot wait jump the gun on that no we cannot wait (laughs) to see you depraved people later bye bye